what is up everybody got another project here finally finished up with that as I'm sure you've seen in the videos but we got a little project here should be a quick one uh, not nearly as complicated or stressful as the Grom this should be pretty easy this is a uh, 2021 KO 70 cc four-wheeler I had purchased about almost two years ago for my daughter and she has since outgrown it and rides my 300 cc now but we're gonna get this ready for my son it just needs a couple of things done due to it being you know sitting for so long um, we need a tire over here actually um, last time I hauled it I must have um, need a light on there let's just strap it down to the trailer to where it would like rubs flat as shit so I need a new tire on that um, definitely needs its carb taken off and cleaned uh, it runs uh, it took a while for me to get it started but it does not run well it's actually electric start it's got a key right here just turn the key start button right here uh, kill switch choke um, as mentioned it is carbureted it's got lights um, little half gallon fuel tank and one of these little kill switch things right here so you can attach to the kid so if he falls off it, it kills the quad which is pretty handy um, no complaints I mean it's a cheap little Chinese quad but we're gonna get this running proper we're gonna actually take the plastics off as well we're gonna paint them and we're gonna give this to my son for Christmas, as I said. Um, we are gonna paint it. I know it's dirty as hell, but we're gonna paint it to match my quad here so we can go out riding together. It's gonna to be his first motorized vehicle. Uh, he does have his little motorcycle here, which we actually went out yesterday, and he loves. He loves to ride it. He loves to ride on the back of the FZ with me, so I'm hoping he'll be super stoked about this. Um, the black parts we're gonna keep black um, Just basically whatever is white this white plastic right here. We'll paint the orange color there So it'll be orange and black be pretty cool uh, Like I said super simple uh, clean it up uh, do the carb new tire paint it I Think that's it so um, We'll probably just rip the plastics off right now We'll get the tire off. Um, we'll pull the carb and go from there. But before we do that, I'll fire it up for you. It does start right up now. I put some good gas in it. Um, luckily, I drained almost all the gas out of it and must have run it um, with the petcock off. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it, yeah, you'll see. Uh, let's see, choke on. Keys on. Still got some buildup and some pretty bad gas is still mixed in there, but I might die here. Automatic transmission. As you can see, it's going to smoke me out here. It runs, just not well. If you take it off choke and try to give it any amount of gas, it dies. It dies like that all the time. Um, it's always been a little hard to get started. Um, and once you got warmed up, it, it ran just fine when I first got it. But we'll just do the maintenance stuff to it real quick and go from there. All right, so first thing I think we're gonna get the plastics off. It seems pretty straightforward. Don't know if I mentioned um, peeled the stickers off of it already. These are the stickers that were on it, but we got a uh, series of Just screws that go all the way around Two down there And then Looks like we got uh, There's got to be yeah plastics attached. Oh, can you guys see up there? Plastics attached here. This is going to be fast. I think 
got some attachment points right here. Actually, it looks like I might be able to not even have to do these around here. I just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts. And then probably these two. First bolt. He's pig. some new uh, rubber washers. so we've progressed a little bit um, kind of spared you guys some of the tedious stuff but there's a couple screws holding this lighting set on three to be exact those come right out um, we're not painting that anyway it's gonna be out of the way so I'll leave that alone um, ended up having to disconnect the handlebars hopefully we can kind of finagle them through there without having to disconnect everything that would be a big pain in the butt but um, size six hex on these four bolts. Um, there's a connection here for what I'm assuming is the brain box. Um, just unplug that. Uh, back here we had a couple of eights back here for the tail light. And I think that's pretty much it for getting the plastics off. Real, oh, the ignition too. So a um, couple of prongs pop through and then you take the module unit out so you can fit it through the hole and we should be pretty ready to attempt to get these to fit through that hole there so wish me luck yeah this ain't gonna work so what would be the easiest thing to disconnect I thought I might have had enough uh, slack already. So I think right here. And yep, I can already feel it getting pretty loose.
Those weren't particularly tight. Yep, I think we're gonna make it. So I'll thread that through. this fit. It's plastic. We'll make it fit. Boom. All right. The worst of it is through. That through. And come on. There it is. All right. Plastics are off. Let's take a look at it here. It's actually uh, looks pretty cool with all the plastics off. Seems like it's going to be real easy to work on. There's the carburetor that we're going to be taking off. The air filter. Oh yeah, this is going to be, this will be fun. Fun times. Look at the size of this little gas tank. That is adorable. Okay. Put that on there so I don't fume myself out, but that is, that's funny. Yeah, it looks like uh, just a matter of some vacuum hoses. And these look like they're probably eights. If you disconnect all the hoses, the throttle those two eights you could probably take it out with the air cleaner still on it oof everything on this is either way too tight or disturbingly loose Ah, that was a lot of gas in my face. And all that, ew, that does not look good. Okay. We got the gas drained and actually I'll let you guys take a peek here because there's some floaties in it and it stinks pretty bad. It's about what you'd expect. But as you can see we got some particulate in there and that's after the filter. Right? Yeah, that's after the filter. So we'll probably change the filter on it too. But that definitely means that carburetor is full of some shit. Put that down here. And let's continue getting that carb off. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we have those there. And that 
one that one goes all right so this bottom one here goes to the back of this this one goes to the filter right here and I think the only thing we have left is the throttle cable which I think we can attach pretty easily right here Find the tool that you need when you need it. Get out of there. Had to poke it from the back, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. And it's free. But, yep, yeah, there it is. Now that we got the carb off, plastics, I guess the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this wheel off that way I can take it, get a new one, get it mounted. And four tens, man. Four, four tens is all that holds this on. Sorry, just letting them drop, trying to do this one-handed. All right, actually had a piece of wood lying around that work kind of perfectly but look at this how adorable is those rotors what look at that even drilled out maximum performance right <whistles> damn look at the little brake pads on this oh this is the cutest thing ever oof Only a Chinese quad, that's for sure, man. Uh, that's, that's not smooth at all. All right, so what do we got here? We've got a Junkate 16-8-2. I can't imagine this is expensive in the least, so basically the plan is we'll get a new tire bought and mounted on this. Um, next episode, we're going to tear the carb apart, clean it, put it back together, and if everything goes according to plan, we'll get this painted, and episode three will be us putting this back together. Should be a pretty simple build. Or I wouldn't say a build, but fix. Probably give it a good cleaning too while it's all apart, just everything. But yeah, that's it. Didn't take long at all to tear that apart. That was pretty fun. It's nice to work on something that's not a Grom right now. Don't get me wrong. I love you, girl, but Fuck, I don't want to work on you for a little while. I'm tired of working on Groms. <laughs> All 
All right, guys. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining me. Um, Till next time. Peace. <laughs>